Rated T for Teen. For key mode, you play from C to G um, using a track that looks very similar to your rock band track. One note for each lane and you can have chords coming down. Our authors like uh, use our pre-existing rules, bringing different chords in and bringing different stretches in at different periods from easy to expert. So we always show 10 keys worth of range and that, that range is determined per song. Um, on easy and medium, that range always stays the same, and once you get up to hard and expert, then we uh, start shifting the track around. We added um, some arrows that tell you which way it's about to shift, and we start to darken out the track that's not important at that point. And so you can actually play notes that are in uh, different parts of the keyboard. It was really important for us to like, leave the notes primarily black and white, so you can tell them apart, tell which ones they were, so then we actually had to leverage the track. So we do tricks like where, where you push a, a key down, it lights up the lane, and you can use that as a reference point for where your hand needs to go after that. But for players that are just interested in like learning keys for the first time, they can just stick to easy and medium, and be playing the right notes, but not have to worry about that. The goal of Rock Band Pro is essentially to uh, well, to pr provide a new challenge to the veteran players who are looking for a new challenge, but also conceptually just to uh, continue to bridge the gap between simulated musicianship in rock band and real musicianship in real life. Having pro mode uh, as part of RB3 really makes the keyboard come alive because it, instead of limiting to just a couple of buttons that you press and an abstraction of a keyboard gameplay. What notes are coming down the track are the actual notes that are played in the song. Every note is accurate though. Every note is in the song. It's not a wrong note. <laughs> We're playing The Power of Love uh, and that song just works so well when you have like a person playing the pro guitar and a person playing pro keys. Uh, it just made it like, if you didn't have that instrument in that song, it, it wouldn't be nearly as fun as it is now.